Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Jose Carlos, aka The Orchid Geek, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at summer 2018's highlights, as well as some of my favorite blooms for the summer. Kicking off this list is going to be Rhinchalalea Cattleya Crystal Moskowitz, which bloomed on June 3rd. Now, the reason why I really like this plant is that unlike all of its other siblings, this one did not have any spotting whatsoever. And as you can see, it also has a very crystalline texture with a very eye-popping yellow color. And what I mean by crystalline texture is just that the petals and sepals are very shimmery in the sunlight. This plant does get even darker as it ages, and that's one thing that I really admire about this hybrid in particular. I think it's a very nice added bonus because it's almost like you get two plants in one. In mid-June, this stunning hybrid of Brassavola David Sanders by Brassavola perennia bloomed, and I was really stoked because it was a second bloom for this young seedling. Now, with every single time it blooms, it seems like the flower gets bigger and bigger, and it's a really lovely color. I really enjoy that green center underneath the anther cap, but I also enjoy the foliage when it's not blooming because since it's receiving a lot of good sunlight, the pigmentation from the flower is actually manifesting itself on the leaves, which is pretty gnarly. Now, it's not as bitchin' as this seedling right here. This is its sibling, and it's a really, really kick-ass yellow-green, and it has that same white lip with that same green center underneath the anther cap, and I've seen many of these seedlings bloom. Not all of them are this color, actually. Most of them tend to be very light pink, so this one is definitely a keeper. Finally, to end June on a good note, Cattleya Pityi Blue Day bloomed in my greenhouse with 22 flowers on 8 inflorescences and I was just simply blown away with how floriferous it was this year and I can't wait for next year's bloom. Now, during this time, I also took out my seedlings of Myrmecophila tibicinus out of their plug trays and I went ahead and put them into 3 inch pots with new media and they are beginning to root now. Another plant that had absolutely no problems producing new roots was the stunning Catlianthi Jerry Spencer Sangria Wine and it bloomed right around the 4th of July and I must admit that I was truly mesmerized by the explosion of blooms that it was able to produce on its first flowering and as you can see it has a gorgeous exposed column with a bright yellow anther cap and it also has very beautifully flared side lobes which is very marvelous and the overall shape of the flower and the overall structure is magnificent and I can't wait to see how it looks like as a mature Catlianthi. Now if you guys want to get an idea of just how warm it got in California, all you have to do is take a look at this really fiery bloom of Potinara Golden Circle by Sophrolalio Catlea Fire Fantasy and I just absolutely fell in love with the fullness of the flower and I also love how it has this veining on the petals and sepals as well as the lip that make it look like fire. Getting a little bit closer to fall, the Pacific South Judging Seminar and Business Meeting occurred on August 4th and I do have some footage of that day to show you guys so feel free to just sit back and enjoy this Orchid Rewind. So it looks like we are the first ones here. So it's, so far it's only Phyllis, Fred Clark and myself, but pretty soon there should be more people. The members meeting took place at the Huntington Botanical Gardens in San Marino, California. And aside from being a beautiful venue, we also got to learn a lot from two very knowledgeable student judges who gave very informative presentations. Now, during this time, I did get a lunch break as well as my colleagues, and I managed to sneak into the conservatory where this magnificent Stanhopia Inodora was blooming. And Inodora is Latin for without a fragrance, so this particular Stanhopia does not smell. Now, it is a huge specimen. You can see its monstrous size, and it is definitely a very mature plant. 
these two stanhopias as well as many other orchids in the conservatory are being grown and cultivated by Brandon Tam who is the orchid collection specialist at the Huntington Botanical Gardens. Now here you can see this beautiful stanhopia although it's fading it still looks elegant as ever. Creeping right around the corner of the conservatory, I found this vanilla orchid that was just draping down the side of one of the branches of a tree that was growing right next to the door on the conservatory. So you can see how vigorous it is. It has just taken over this whole tree, wrapping itself around and taking complete control. And let me show you a picture of the flower because it is really breathtaking. This was the first time that I saw a vanilla flower and I know that that might be kind of funny, but it's true so it was a very good experience for me now moving over here to this post you will see that there are many other orchids with their roots just hanging loose and having the time of their lives they really do appear happy you can see the misters are going off in the conservatory and it was definitely a sight to look at during the months of July and August, the temperatures were very high and it actually got to a high of 115 degrees in the nursery, which was simply astonishing. So essentially what we had to do was cool down all of the plants by watering over the foliage and allowing the leaves to um, cool off that way. Now we were also dividing during this time and myself and a few other co-workers, we went through thousands of Cattleyas, all part of our breeding stock, and we divided and made divisions of these plants. So the division list for the Cattleyas is actually going to be coming out very soon. But here you can see I am pictured with a beautiful Cattleya guttata. Now this one here did not get divided, but it's okay because this one is going to be grown until it's even bigger. Right now it is 15 years old, it is really old, and it is really gigantic, and we are just going to grow it into a bigger specimen. Now going back to what was blooming in my greenhouse, now we're getting to the end of August and there was not really much in bloom at August to be honest. It seemed like my greenhouse was very quiet during that time. But just when I thought that nothing in my greenhouse was going to bloom and I was getting kind of sad, my Cattleya Poseidon Lake variety Cerulea decided to pop open and I was really surprised. It was really nice flower, it had a gorgeous bright purple lip. It had a white anther cap and it had very beautiful mahogany brown petals and sepals but I'm going to show you a different picture with different lighting and you will notice that it is actually overlaid with that mahogany color and it's underlaid with a beautiful cerulea and I really enjoy that. You notice that it does get lighter towards the column of the orchid so can't wait for this um, Cattleya to grow up and everything continued to grow, the temperatures continued to be very high but you know what? Everything was just thriving, they were loving it, and I couldn't be happier. Now, the next plant that I'm going to be showing you is going to be called Cattleya Laura Newton. And here you can see that it's just starting to open up very beautiful green sepals with nice flared petals. Now, this was a stunner, and this particular hybrid is actually very fragrant as well. The sibling of the orchid that I'm showing you right now did bloom on the last day of summer which was September 22nd here you can see that it has gorgeous light lavender petals and sepals and it does retain those flares but the petals themselves are actually much larger and I think that the overall shape and overall size and flower count of this particular seedling was a lot better than the previous one and I'm not trying to bash on the other one it was still lovely but ultimately I think I do prefer this one over the last one and I gotta admit the fragrance on this one here was just amplified times 10 so really really nice bonus to the seedling and that's going to conclude my favorite summer 2018 blooms as well as my favorite highlights now summer is gone and it is time for a whole new set of orchids to bloom now that it is fall so i can't wait to share that with you all remember if you like this video feel free to give a thumbs up comment and subscribe and also feel free to follow me on my social media i will provide links down below in the description but i can't wait to see you guys on my next video but until then peace